I am honored to hear to speak before you on this important international conference organized by PGM. First and foremost, I want to appreciate Fazal Rahman Afri Desai and all dedicated activists of PGM for giving us this opportunity to share our views. On behalf of United Kashmir People's National Party, we strongly condemn the arrest of Pashtun Tafas Movement leader, Pashtun leader Manzoor Pashtin. Pakistan first barred him to enter in Balochistan and lately arrest him. We <coughs> demand that he should be released unconditionally and immediately. We have seen in Islamabad that Pakistan has used brutal force against women, girls, children, elderly who were protesting for the recovery of their loved ones who are in force disappeared in Balochistan. Most of them extrajudicially killed in Balochistan. This is unfortunate. We historical nations Pashtuns, Buloj, Sindhis, Kashmiris are the victim of the colonial era and Cold War era policies. Our borders were arbitrarily drawn by international powers. Without the concentration of the local people, they created artificial borders, <coughs> created conflicts, Due to these conflicts, our historical nations are suffering, whether they are Pashtuns, Baloch, Sindhis, and Kashmiris. This is the time for international community, especially Great Britain, to ratify it, undoing what they have did in past divided historical nation created artificial states. And if we see in the history, there were very powerful rulers, kings, military mites who tried to suppress people. They tried to snatch their identity, their countries, but people who stood against their brutalities, ultimately they got freedom. Threats, harassments, intimidation, and blackmailing cannot deter committed and long lasting struggle of the leaders who are committed to their nations and their land. Most of speakers they have shed lights on the plight of the oppressed nations in Pakistan. I don't want to take much time because we are all already running out of time. I fully endorse the suggestions presented by Dr. Lakul Hwano Sahib, we should have a joint strategy to present our case before the international <coughs> community. There are many states who might want to keep this status quo, but there are states, organizations who are very much interested to resolve these long-lasting issues, which resulted the conflicts, wars, bloodshed, and marginalized secular and democratic forces in our region, and strengthened communal life and extremist forces and war mongers. We are pro peace loving people, whether we are Baloch, Pashtun, Sindhis, Kashmiris, and we want peace, we want to live with dignity, peace, and what we deserve, we deserve our freedom, our basic rights, and we deserve that we should have ownership of our resources. Now, I conclude this, and we should prepare a joint memorandum. We should present it to all international forums, international forces, international players, and ask them to help us to get rid of this position. I thank you very much for giving this opportunity. Thank you. 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 Thank you.